Number 77,878. Learn how to short, but don't go crazy. So to short or not to short. I pulled this from Trading Full Circle. Shorting is more difficult than it looks. I remember when I first learned you can make money when stocks go down. Probably in the 80s, I guess. I'm like, man, this is great because all my stocks are going down anyway. And I quickly learned that it was more, it was a lot more difficult than it looked. And it's tougher to ride the trends longer term due to the sharp retrace rally. So even if you catch the mother of all trends on the short side, especially like if you catch a transitional pattern, like maybe APH is, is done. I don't know. That might be a nice little transitional pattern. But even if we do profit from that position, it's going to be some big old zigs and zags along the way and likely knock us out on the way down. Much harder to ride the short side than it is a long side. Now, obviously, there's 100% max profit, and that's SANS trading around the position. Now, that add-on options trade, that might have been trading around the position a little bit because it rallied up and it was set up again. looked like it was ready to go back down. So I put on a little S&G position just to see if I could, I could get a free option position out of that. There's obviously the potential for limited losses, and that's for the stupid people, the obstinate, or the obstinate with unlimited cash. Now, assuming you don't have a huge gap overnight and you really are hurting pup, it just starts going against you. It starts going up and up and up and up, and you're too, I don't know if recalcitrant is a word, stubborn, I guess, would be a simpler word to use. You're too stubborn to get out of the position well, your broker's going to call you up and ask you for more money and more money and more money. You're going to have to keep putting more and more money up. And that's why you'd never want to answer a margin call. Just get out. There's some logistics. It has to be borrowed. You have to borrow it from somebody. And technically, they could call it back. And I've had stocks call back before that I was short. So you have a position, it's 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 doing great, and all of a sudden it gets pulled out of your account and they cash you out. That's kind of a kind of a weird situation to be in. But when that happens, a lot of times, especially if it's going the right direction, you can just simply buy some options. Simply. Huh. So I'm talking about all the downside of shorting. Like, why would you short? Well, obviously it's the only way to make money in down markets, but the main reason is that it helps you to see both sides of the market. And as I said a, a million times, my friends who run millions and millions and millions and millions, and hundreds of millions of dollars, who are long only oriented, they tend to be a little bit more glass half full when it comes to the markets. So if you short and you learn how to short, don't go crazy with it again, but if you learn how to short and you make a little money here and there, you begin to see the patterns unfold and it, it might temper your bullishness. You might pull in your horns a little bit when the market is behaving, is not behaving well, when it's starting to look like it's headed lower because you're getting a short set up. So I think shorting overall is a good thing to do. Pick your spots very carefully and, and do it infrequently unless the market really presents the opportunities. And sands are rip roaring bear market you don't want to do a lot of shorting but right now as we're kind of getting a little iffy i think it's okay to put on a short or two here and there because if you catch a transition like the semis just got creamed right the old leaders are becoming the laggards okay when when i go to the gym and everybody in the gym's asking about nvidia i know that the man on the street has discovered nvidia and who's left to buy, okay? That's a whole nother conversation. Maybe we could make that another one. Uh, use the man on the street as a microcosm. Use yourself as a microcosm with, with your feelings in the market.